Welcome to A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students, Lesson 234. Father, today I am your son again. Today we will anticipate the time when dreams of sin and guilt are gone and we have reached the holy peace we never left. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I'm going to pause here and say, what a radical thought. The holy peace we never left. And yet, perceptually, I've left this holy peace a lot. Probably most of my life I haven't been in this holy peace. So what does that mean? The holy peace we never left. One of the radical teachings, and when I say radical, I mean radical to the thought system of ego, radical to the thought system of humankind as we know it now. These are very radical thoughts. Although as we integrate them in our psyche, we realize they're self-evident, they're obvious. And then they cease to feel so radical. But in the meantime, it's like, what? The holy peace we never left? Of course I've left the peace of God. <laughs> uh, half, half of my life, if not more, I've lived in a nightmare. What do you mean? In a workbook for students, we're taught again and again, again, that we are not our thoughts. We are not our fears. We are not the thought system of the world. We are not ego. The ego being a fear mechanism. Nothing more, nothing less. And it's not our true authentic self. The true authentic self is in deep stillness. It is whole and complete. And of course in miracles helps us to retrain our awareness our consciousness to that aspect of the self, that true self, versus being body identified, being lost out there, trying to get something from the world of humans, trying to get, trying to compete, comparing, negativity, blaming, critique, judgment. That is not your true self. Merely a tiny instant has elapsed between eternity and timelessness. So brief the interval, there was no lapse in continuity nor break in thoughts which are forever unified as one. Nothing has ever happened to disturb the peace of God the Father and the Son. This we accept as wholly true today. We thank you, Father, that we cannot lose the memory of you and of your love we recognize our safety and give thanks for all the gifts you have bestowed on us, for all the loving help we have received, for your eternal patience and the word which you have given us that we are saved. What a sweet and gentle prayer of gratitude. One of the most beautiful and kind and gracious teachings in a workbook for students is that despite appearances and despite perceptions and despite whatever horrible, awful, scary things that we've each individually and collectively have been through, it does not change our innate nature. I am as God created me. I love you so much. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. And I will see you tomorrow for lesson. 235.